first time we've run the DevBot in driverless mode on a Formula E track in the middle of a city street and it's what a fantastic moment for people to see that, to feel the energy of driverless, what it's going to do for our future and it's, you know, it's just so exciting for the team. They put hours and hours of work in, all these guys are up till 1, 2 in the morning developing a technology that no one else in the world is able to do at this speed in these kind of complicated environments and to be here at COP22 when we're celebrating an electric future, a driverless future, I mean it's the perfect time for a robo race. What we're doing is at the forefront of technology right now. There are two or three kind of space races, if you will, you know. Some people are going to Mars, we're developing robotic cars, and I think it's probably one of the most, if not the most exciting space in the world right now. Our plan is to keep developing different levels, so you might see two cars racing each other next time, and just try and just, I, I suppose more than anything, we want people to be excited about the technology, because it is, it's, it's, it's going to change our lives, you know, it's going to transform our cities.